Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will learn about derivation of nurse equation. What is nurse equation and how it is being derived. Okay. We will go as per the video syllabus. Okay. Before that, let us have some basics. That is some definitions. What is electrode potential? Electrode potential is very simple. Okay, I will tell you here. That's why before going this, go to basics. Just click I button. One electrode is dipped in a electrolytic solution. This is electrolytic solution. This is electrode. Okay, then example suppose the, if it is zinc the solution is having zinc ions of its own ion ion solution okay zinc sulfate like that here we'll take zinc sulfate when zinc is dipped in zinc sulfate solution here oxidation occurs and during that process this zinc gives zinc plus 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 two electrons in this process potential is developed means voltage is developed and that is called electrode potential see here electrode potential e the potential developed at the interface between the metal and solution when it is in contact with the solution of its own ion okay that is very important that's why zinc dip in zinc sulfate solution that gives some potential that is electrode potential next is free energy what is this free energy let's see here free energy is nothing but a system suppose if some chemical see take zinc sulfate only this is having some form of energy inside it it is having some energy inside this energy available what is free energy energy available to perform some work it is maximum energy available okay that is called free energy free energy energy is freely available available to perform work work in the form of means this energy gives some different form of energy sorry guys this writing pad is little bit moisture that's why it's getting like that so one energy is giving another form of energy so this energy is being converted here the maximum energy which is available inside it is called free energy as per books it is defined as the amount of internal energy of a thermodynamic system means here we are uh, taking zinc zinc sulfate solution so we will take that example that is available to perform work which is energy is available to perform the work is free energy okay got it now standard electrode potential we have seen the standard electrode potential no we have seen about electrode potential what is electrode potential the potential developed when a metal is dipped in its own ionic solution same here metal is dipped in a so its own ionic solution but the solution is having the one molar of concentration and temperature is at 298 degree kelvin okay that is called standard electrode potential written as e naught okay See here, it is the electrode potential when the electrode is in contact with a solution of unit concentration, this one molar concentration at 298 degree Kelvin at standard condition that is called standard electrode potential. At normal condition, whatever the potential is developed at any concentration and at any temperature is electrode potential written as E and E naught is our standard potential. Then this is having something. Now we will go to the next equation. 
these are the basics okay before nurse education we need to see one more thing what is emf of a cell emf of a cell is nothing but emf is a potential difference okay let's see here i told you this gives some potential then one more cell the electrochemical cell there will be two cells right this one will as act as an ato anode and another act as cathode so this e electrode potential developed at this cell is something and another cell is also something say this is x this is y then the emf of a cell is nothing but this y minus x that's it potential developed at cathode minus potential developed at anode means when the electrons flow from here to here this gives this potential means this potentiometer get deflected we get some value it means that when it is zero this get deflected it gives some value means there is a there is some potential that means the voltage is generated voltage you are understanding right very simple very simple see here don't scratch your heads this is very simple anode and cathode is interconnected with the potentiometer here salt which is there you just that's why you click the i button you will get what are the cell groups and all okay then after that this e is having some value this e is having some value that is e of anode e of cathode then difference of e of cathode minus e of anode is our emf okay very simple that's what is here emf of emf of cell sorry guys for the pronunciation emf is the potential difference between the two electrodes of a galvanic cell that zinc sulfate we are taken no zinc and copper that is a galvanic cell i already explained this you will get in that i button which causes the flow of current from one electrode to another what that what i told about, about that that is emf is equal to e cathode minus e of anode work done chemical energy is being converted yes into electric energy right then some work is being done here some work is being done this energy is being converted here so we have to do some work what is that work the work done by an electrolytic solution to develop some potential is n f e what is n number of electrons moving from anode to cathode number of electron moving is n f is what faraday's constant to know about faraday just click the i button one more time you will get this and e is electrode potential just now i told about this so the number of total charge multiplied is multiplied by its potential gives the work done that's what it is here the maximum amount of work done obtained from a chemical reaction is work max means here the free energy is what the maximum amount of energy that we have taken work max is equal to nf of nf of into e cell nf e n is number of electrons moving from anode to cathode f is faraday's constant and what it is i already told click the i button and what is electrode potential just now i told so we got everything about this now let's move to the actual thing this is in our syllabus and that also is there in our syllabus okay they might ask for one mark and all just for one mark it is okay don't worry this is important nurse education then what is nurse education we got the electrode potential we got the standard electrode potential the relationship between this this something relationship some of something here this relationship is our nurse equation so what is nurse equation it gives 
relationship between single electrode potential and standard electrode potential through what through concentration of metal ions means this metal ions this metal ions it is written as mn plus this metal ions it de depends on this concentration and that relationship is given by Nernst equation at some particular temperature okay temperature is also important we will see in next part how it is later let's go to the derivation see it is very simple delta g is work done already i have told you which is work max maximum of work done which is equal to what work done maximum is n of e but here minus why minus because what work is being done by the system when work is being done by the system it is taken as minus means this work is reducing here this energy when it is being transferred to electrical energy okay when it is transferred to the electrical energy this work this energy chemical energy is reducing it is decreasing that's why we have to take negative okay which is why we have taken here delta g minus g is equal to n f e under standard condition now standard condition is what at 1 molar concentration 1 molar at 298 temperature this is our standard condition and what is our e naught e naught is this 1 molar at 298 so that's only we have taken here delta g naught is equal to n of e naught minus delta g naught we can write minus here also no problem then consider reversible electrode reaction that's why guys we have to press this i button to see the basics of electrochemistry then only you will understand this partner's equation part at cathode reduction takes place which means that this metal ion accepts some number of electron to form the metal this is reduction reaction at anode oxidation takes place means these metal ions here only will that's why we write this symbol means this also this also both are taking place this metal ion gives electron and form the metal ions this metal okay x donate some electron this metal ion accept electron to form the metal so this is a reversible reaction so consider this reversible reaction here mention that okay this now according to Wentoff's reaction isotherm what is Wentoff's reaction isotherm that it is not there in your syllabus and if you want I can explain in next chapter but this is not required here just remember this equation delta G is equal to delta G naught plus RT ln of KC remember this this is Wentoff's isotherm of equation R gas constant T is temperature this is equilibrium constant this is we already know this we already know just put those values delta g delta g naught but what is k c here k is equilibrium constant which is given as k is nothing but kc it, it is written as kc equilibrium constant kc is equal to metal concentration divided by metal ion concentration it is kc is given by cathode concentration divided by concentration of anode here we have metal metal ion m n n plus okay this is our case also be written as product concentration divided by reactant concentration the products is here m same thing this is m n plus this is our kc equilibrium constant we got this kc we got this all just delta g is equal to delta g naught plus rt ln of kc we go we have to put this we know the delta g n of e minus n of e this is minus e, n of e naught just put that values here minus n of e minus n of, n of e naught plus rt ln of m by m n plus divide minus n of on both sides why do we have to divide because n of is common here minus n of 
just divide that you will get e you get e naught and this minus that's why this 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 becomes minus minus rt and f ln of m by m n plus this is concentration that's why it's given it is written in square bracket okay then at one molar concentration when m is one one molar concentration is written as one m then just put the value of m here one then it becomes e is equal to e naught minus r t by n f ln of one by m n plus okay here you have divided n f no that's why it becomes n f r t by n f then r t by n f ln of one by m n plus when one by m n plus can be written as ln of m n according to logarithmic function at log of one by x is equal to minus log of x this is basics of logarithmic so according to that same in ln function also we can write this e is equal to now e naught minus but this goes to the numerator that's why again minus minus into minus is plus so e is equal to e naught plus rt by nf ln of mn plus now just convert ln into log function to convert this i have already uploaded one video just click the i button you will get okay then that is equal to in ln when you convert into log which is equal to 2.303 how we derive this i already shown click the i button guys here you have to press i button lot of times because you have to understand the basics behind this now stay question so that you never forget this in your life okay whenever someone asks you even in your in night this will not require to prepare during night also before examination just see this how it is being done your work is done that is your energy is converted into some marks so don't worry this thing is done now r what is r gas constant that's why i told you already told you you have to click i button several times here the again click i button to know how this value we got this value okay this is gas constant value how we average suppose if you want to know this is not required as per your syllabus okay just remember this temperature is 298 and faraday is 96500 again how you error this click i button if you want knowledge if you don't just don't click remember this this number okay then if you put all these values in this equation r 8.314 temperature 298 faraday is 96500 then it become e is equal to e not plus 0.0591 divided by n into log of m this is nest equation for single electrode okay m n plus okay this m n plus is very small here that's why you're not unable to you are unable to see this what is m n plus okay metal ion concentration it depends on metal ion concentration not the metal okay metal is one molar that's why is not m okay just remember this see here okay m n plus i have written but uh, don't know why it's not showing so it became this is our nernst equation we got the nernst equation and for nernst equation for emf of a cell emf is nothing but the total voltage is tail of difference of voltage when both the electrodes being connected so when both electrodes connected you have to write this e is equal to e not plus 0.0591 divided by n log of cathode by anode this for anode same you do for cathode you will get cathode divided by anode this is common this is at common so this is the our equation okay thanks for watching guys do like comment share and guys please subscribe the channel so that i get confidence and i will make more videos to you okay thank you guys